Let us pray. Lord God, we have come to worship you. As the season changes from summer to autumn, we change the food we eat, the clothes we wear, and the pattern of our days. But when we think about you, we are reminded that you don't change. You are the God who loves us, who created us and set us in this amazing world. You are the God who is present in the cycle of the years, who is with us as we learn to walk and talk, who is with us as we run and jump and shout and laugh, who is with us as we discover and love and take on responsibilities, who is with us as we slow down and watch and take time to listen. You're always there, always loving always close. You are our God and we worship you. You sow the seeds of your life into our lives, your Holy Spirit in us, helping us to grow more like you. In our lives, love, joy and peace have given us the capacity to reach out to others. Goodness, kindness and generosity have provided opportunities to work with others. Faithfulness, patience and self-control have helped make that working together go well. It's your life bearing fruit in our lives. Your colours and textures and sounds, flavour and aroma woven into our everyday. Glimpses of your extraordinary goodness and loveliness in our ordinary everydayness. A taste of heaven, the song of an angel, a sacred touch, a divine aroma, a glorious view. Our words are too small to describe our experiences of you, but you are our God and we worship you. You come to us and find us whilst we are looking the other way. You invite us to come closer, to look with you and see the things your way. We agree to be your apprentices, learning to do things your way. We are in awe of your patience and love for us. You are our God and we worship you. We know there are times when we've done things our own way, when we've chosen not to look for your way. And there are times when we've just carried on or stopped without checking with you. And that means it's been harder than it might have been for others and ourselves. We are sorry for the pain we've caused to you, to others and for ourselves. Please forgive us. Thank you for forgiving us. Please help us to walk closer to you and with you, so that we reflect your light and love to those around us. Together now, let us use the words that Jesus taught his followers and pray. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen.